The word I've chosen is cretino. As a non-Italian who lived in Italy for a number of years, I became aware that people were saying to each other, ma che cretino, or even of themselves, ma sono un cretino, meaning I'm stupid, uh, I'm silly. Cretino was originally used in the first half of the 18th century to describe a group of people living in the Swiss valleys, in the French Alps, who had a uh, form of physical and uh, intellectual disability. They had goiters, they were short of stature, they had lower intelligence than other people around them. And the term cretinism then became the subject of medical scientific textbooks. Originally, the term used in the Swiss patois, crétin, was the same equivalent to the French chrétien, or the Italian cristiano, or the English Christian. It meant a human being, a Christian, a person to be felt sorry for, somebody that was, should be included in civil society, given part of our community. At a certain point it shifted to being a term of abuse and a term of um, social exclusion and that was because of the medicalization, the way that these people were put into institutions or sub subjected to medical treatment and investigation and therefore they became seen as retards or morons, two other terms that were originally used in medical, in medical discourse. My argument about this and about this use of the word cretino, it hasn't really kept in step with the way that societies, particularly advanced societies, now treat people with developmental and intellectual disabilities. They're seen as people with rights, people who have a need and an opportunity to participate in society, to go to normal schools, to get jobs, to have a family life. So why is it that the language, everyday language, has not kept step with the way we think about people with these disabilities. Why do we still say cretino? Why do some people, not me, say cretino as a put-down term?